Okay, reminder lang. Yung second problem natin na uh, uniformly distributed load of W, usually when we design apartment, uh, bungalow, yung mga beam niyan, gamit na gamit ang formula ng deflection dito. I remember the time nung nagdi-design kami ng floor joist, nung nasa timber design kami, very useful ang formula na yan kapag nag-check kami ng deflection uh, ng beam. Okay? And also, with the steel design, ang dami kasing checking procedure na ginagawa bago mo talaga masabi na safe ang design mo sa pagdi-design ng beam para mabuwat ang mga loads na ganyan kabibigat. Okay? So, in our given figure, again, ito yung ating plastic curve. Okay, lumapas, no? Dito tama yan. Dito, dito. Yan, yan. Erase ko muna, no? Ayusin ko yung figure natin. So, ito yan. Itong ating elastic curve. From here. Yan. So, ito yung ating Y max or maximum deflection. Ito naman yung ating maximum slope. Now, our, the value of the weight of our given beam stands for W. And we have a distance of L. Definitely, ang resulta niyan sa gitna R. And since it is rectangular, area formula, parang uh, area formula lang yan ng rectangle, length time is width. So width, uh, yung W natin, yun yung weight, and then yung length natin is the L itself. So WL, yan ang ating resulta. Now, if we're going to calculate the reactions on both sides of the given beam, here we have, I think, WL over 2. And another WL over 2. Ayan yung ating mga reactions. So, importante talaga na marunong tayo maganap ng reactions at mag-drawing ng shear and moment diagram. Kumbaga, preparasyon yan sa inyo pagdating nyo lang design. Kaya reinforced concrete yan, ano man lang uh, gagamitin ninyong method kung USD, kung WSD. Aabot din kayo ng timber design at saka ng steel design. Gagamitin ninyo yung mga yan. Kumbaga, nagaanda lang tayo. Okay, double L over to both sides. Now, what is next? Again, huwag ninyong kalimutan na lagi tayo nagkikreate ng cutting section. So, ito yung kasunod. So, let me construct now the cutting section. Hindi ko ba nailagay yung cutting section? May cutting section tayo dyan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, ito yung ating uh, resultant W L. Okay. So, sa solution natin, ito yung panimula. Automatic yan. Kailangan, alam natin ang ating M. Sinimulan ko lang agad dito, no? Dinib ko na yung, uh, yung formula na secondary, yung uh, may integral of EI. Then, d square y over dx square is equal to yung equation natin na m kanina. So, nag-integrate na ako kagad. So, automatic, naka-integrate na ito at saka yun. Ito na lang in-integrate, kaya meron tayong c sub 1. Kaya lang, ano muna yung value ng ating moment? 1 up of L times x. Okay, pakita ko, no? Doon sa ating cutting section, here, ito yung cutting section natin, AA. So, we have a distance of X. Okay? Since nagbago yung distance natin, and this is WL over 2, no? Yan. WL over 2. Ang direction niyan is upward. Kung may resultant tayo kanina sa kabuan, 
guguhit uli ako ng panibagong resultant dito. Ang resultant natin, okay, listen, is what? Ang buong distance na yan is x. So, w time is x. Can you follow? Yung x na yan mula doon hanggang dito. Tama? Okay, balikan ko lang yung kanila. If this is L, ang kalahati ng midspan, automatic, doon sa sentro ng ating resultant kanina, L over 2 yung mga yan. L over 2. L over 2 din yan. Same thing here. This is x over 2. Kalahati ng x, x over 2. Yan ang lever arm natin. Dito, no? Kasi ito lang yung pinag-uusapan natin, eh. Yung lakad lang. Ang bagong distance is x. So, this is x over 2. Now, ang direction ng ating uh, r is downward. This is upward. So, this is clockwise. And this is counterclockwise. Kaya positive ito dahil clockwise. 1 up of WL, multiply mo ng x. Kasi ang layo niya sa point dito, yung point natin sa cutting section, nakakasunod ba kayo? Is x. Nakakasunod ba kayo? Ba paano ako nag-arrive dito? Class, Naintindihan ba kung paano ako nag-arrive dyan? Hello? Ba't wala sumasagot? Naintindihan ba kung bakit ako nag-arrive dyan? Hello, class. Are you still with me? Hello? Buti ako sasagot. Yes po, sir. Sir, yes po. Yan lang naman. Simpleng yes lang para makausad tayo. Iba double yellow over to yan. Ito yung cutting natin. Opo, sir. Okay? Ito tayo nag-cut kanina. Paliwana ko lang, no? A. A. Ito yung R natin. WX. Bakit naging WX? Kasi X na lang ang distance niyan hanggang doon sa cutting. E ito, x over 2 yan, yung kalahati ng x. So, kung magmumoment ako, isang kule, no? Ang reaction natin, WL over 2. Ang rotation, clockwise. Kasi positive. Ang layo niya sa cutting section is x. That's why we have this. And then this one is counter. So, counterclockwise, so minus Wx. Ang layo niya, x over 2 hanggang doon sa cutting section. That's why we have this. Now, after having now this moment equation, saka pa lang tayo pwedeng mag-proceed sa ating first integration process. Ito kasi ang magiging value ng ating m. Ito siya. Now, proceeding to the next step. Okay, na siya. Pinactor out ko lang ang 1 up W kasi nga kung titinan natin yung equation natin, paraw namang yung first term at saka yung last term, paraw silang may W over 2. That's why we have already factor out W over 2. We treat W over 2 as a constant and then may iwan ng LX at saka x square sa loob. Para ito na lang dalawang yan ang ating integrate. Okay, if I'm going to integrate LX, magiging uh, LX square over 2. Ito magiging x square over 3. Tama? E yun, magiging C2, C1x and then magkakaroon ng... Okay, nandiyan na pala yung C1. Uh, mamaya na yung C1x kapag nag-second integration na tayo. Okay, so simplify natin. And that's it. Okay? Intindihan kung bakit nag-arrive sa LX square over 2 and X square over 3. Ang integral ng LX, L is considered as a constant. X square over 2 times L. Ang X square kapag integrate mo, X cube over 3. Now, na natapos na natin ang ating first integration process, same procedure. 
Let's just, let us just assume that dy over dx is equal to zero. Lagi nating sineset ang dy over dx zero. Okay? And then, ang x, papalitan lang natin ng L over 2. Dahil nga ang deflection natin nasa mid-span. Alam na natin kagad yan. Okay, ang value ng C1, kapag yan ay ating sinimplify, nag-algebra tayo, mag arrive ng L cube over 24 minus L cube over 8. Then, simplifying our fractions, ano ba ang 1 over 24 minus 1 over 8? ang value ng ating C1 magiging ganito. Negative WL cube over 24. So kapag naanap mo na ang C1, para mo na rin naanap ang slope kasi yan pa rin ang gagamitin natin. Ang, ang pagkakaiba lang, magkakaroon ng EI. I-multiply natin ng 1 over EI ang ating C sub 1. Maanap natin ang ating slope. Tandaan, Sa design, sa deflection process, ang first integration, yan ang ating tinatawag na slope. After the second integration process, ang output natin is deflection. Always remember, sa first integration is the slope. Second integration process will be the deflection. So, yan ang ating slope muna. Okay. So, after natin na-determine ang value ng C1 at ng ating slope, Maaari na natin ngayong hanapin ang ating deflection formula. Maaari na natin derive. Now, going back to our equation kanina. Okay, pansinin nyo. In advance ko na ang C1, X at saka C2. Okay, in-integrate ko na kagad. Kanina kasi, eto yan eh. Tanin ninyo. Kalina, ito yung, ito yung equation natin. Samba. Ito. Okay, C1. Naka-integrate na. Okay? Yan siya. E, integrate ko to. Integrate ko yan. At saka yung C1. Pabayaan ko lang yung nandirito muna. Yan, na-integrate ko na yung may dy over dx kanina. Before, yung y, nung hindi pa tayo nakapag-integrate, dy over dx yan. Before, yung c1x, c1 dati yan. Dati, ganito yan. And ito naman, before, ganito yan. Para lang kalaro, no? So, in-integrate natin, that's why we have this and we have this. Since nag-integrate tayo, magdadagdag ako ng panibagong constant and we name it as C sub 2. Yun nga lang, hindi ko pa na-integrate ito. Okay, so let's integrate now this portion. Ang LX square over 2 is LX cube over 6 kasi dati nang may 2 eh. Okay, kung alasin ko ang L over 2, yan, L over 2 no? Integrate ko ang x square, x cube over 3. Tama ba ako? Saka ako i-multiply yung denominator na 3 sa 2. Okay, let me remove it there first. L over 2. Kunwari yan lang, no? x square. dx. Baka nakalimutan na ninyo, integral ninyo. L over 2. Ang integral ng x square is x cube over 3. Yeah. O, 2 yun. So, ibig sabihin, LX cube over 6. Tama? So, this will be LX cube over 6. Eh, may 1 up sa labas. 1 up W. So, yung multiply ko ng 1 up W yan. Ito yun. What do we have? W, L, x cubed over 12. Now, if we will proceed to this one, this is going to be x to the 4 over 12. Bakit x to the 4 over 12? Kapag in-integrate ko ang x cubed dx, 
Eh, over 3 yan. Uy, labas ko yung 1 third. Dati nang may 1 third. Integrate ko ang x cube, magiging x to the 4 over 4. x to the 4 over 4. Yan. Kung na yung multiply. So, magiging x to the 4 over 12. Eh, mumultiply ko pa ng 1 up w yan. Kaya ang output natin, kapag yan ay ating uh, in-integrate, yung portion na yan. Okay, so that you may see. Yan. Okay, at least yan. Oh. 6. Eh, multiply ko ng 1 up w to. At saka yun. O hindi ba over 12 at saka over 24? Correct? So let us see now kung tama tayo. <coughs> okay? When x equals to 0, y is 0, and then c sub 2 is 0, lagi natin ginagawa yan. And y is equal to the deflection, or y max is also equal to maximum deflection when x equal to L over 2. Bakit L over 2? Nasa midspan ng ating maximum deflection. And that's it. Substitution process. Konting algebra lang. Substitution, may value tayo ng C1. Ito ang value ng C1 natin. Ang X is L over 2. So, lahat ng X dito, papaltan lang L over 2. Now, if we're going to simplify it, ito ang value ng ating EI theta. Uh, EI deflection. 1 over 8 minus 1 over 32 minus 1 fourth. And then, simplifying it, we can have 5 WL to the 4 over 384 plus uh, I am informing you that this formula very basic. Kapag civil engineering student ka, wala kang karapatang kalimutan mo yan. Lahat ng mga engineering student, pagtungtong nila lang nung kami, nung time namin, pagtungtong nila sa mga major subject, hindi na kinakalimutan yan. Anyway, kung saan naman ninyong matatandaan yan kapag da, umabot na kayo ng design kasi lagi na ninyong gagamitin yan. Yung 5WL to the 4 over 384EI. So, the negative sign here only shows that there is a deflection. Okay? And so, yan ang formula ng ating maximum deflection at ganyan siya kung paano na-derive using double integration method. Negative 5WL to the 4 over 384EI. Tandaan ninyo yan, mga anak. Pagdating natin ng superposition method, muli ninyong makikita ang mga yan. But by that time, hindi sa, pa, sa paraang i-derive ninyo. Gagamitin ninyo sa paghanap ng deflection. Okay? So let's proceed. Marino ba ang lesson? Klaro ba ang dalawang problem natin? Class, klaro ba ang lesson natin? Oh. Hey, sure kayo ha? Tagal sumagot ng iba. Okay. Now, so, yun ang tinatawag nating double integration method. At yun ang concept na may babagi ko sa inyo. Try ninyong subukan pang maganap ng ibang mga deflection examples via internet, using books, and then practice solving kayo. Okay? Ang talagang makakatulong sa inyo ay yung mga sarili ninyo sa kursong napili ninyo. Kung talagang magsisipag kayong mag-aaral, marami kayong matututunan. To be honest with you, hindi naman lahat may bibigay ng inyong mga teacher, lalo na kapag limitado lang ang panahon. Okay, let's proceed. We have now the moment diagram by parts. Okay, aralin ninyong may gito kasi 
may may role na gagampanan ito sa ating mga susunod pang lesson. Aralin ninyo at kabisaduing maigi ang moment diagram by parts. Okay, bakit by parts? Limbawa, uh, meron kang reaction, meron kang ilang mga concentrated loads. Actually, by parts ang uh, calculation ng yung proseso. Uh, Nakaseparate yung kalkulasyon mo ng moment para dun sa load na yan, sa concentrated load na to, sa reaction na yan. And then makikita mo, dami mo mga figures na makikita sa yung uh, sketch ng moment diagram by parts. Pakibasa mo nga, Christian. Wish with me here? Pakibasa nga ang mga anak. Hello? Christian? Pakibasa mo nga. Christian? May problem ba sa internet ninyo? Okay, who wants to read the given problem? Sino pwedeng magbasa? Sir, ako na lang po, sir. Sige, pakibasa mo lang. The moment area method of finding the, the deflection of a beam will demand the accurate calculation of the area of moment diagram. As well as the moment of such area about any axis to pave its way, way, this section will deal on how to draw moment diagram by part and to compute the moment of such diagrams about a specified and stated axis. Okay, so that's it. So, ibig sabihin, ang dami nating mga possibly idodrawing kapag nag-solve tayo ng given problem. Ang dami siguro nating mga triangles na the drawing or rectangles or spandrel na maaaring uh, may guwit para lang makapag-compute tayo ng moment diagram by parts. Now, uh, para mas maging malilaw ang diskusyon, okay, tuloy pa natin ang ating moment diagram by parts by having the following basic principles. The bending moment caused by all magnitudes to the left or to the right of any section is equal to the respective total of the flexural or bending moments at that section caused by its load acting separately. So, ibig sabihin, by load tayo. Okay? Kaya lang, by parts. Okay? By parts tayo. So, paano ba yan? Okay, proceed. Moment is equal to summation moment around left and also equal to summation of all moment around the right portion of our given beam. So how is the next step now? The moment of load about a specified axis is always defined by the equation of a spandrel. So ano bang itsura ng ating spandrel? Ano bang equation ng ating spandrel? Y is equal to kx to the n. So this will be the formula of our equation of the spandrel. Wherein n is the degree of x. And the graph of the given equation is shown as below. Yan ang ating graph ng spandrel. 
So, kakalculate ang value ng B at ang value ng H. And then also, yung lever arm natin na XG. Lever arm ng ating spandrel. Okay? So, let's proceed. And the area including location of centroid sa raspalos. So, paano ba inaanap ang location of centroids? Ang A is equals to 1 over N plus 1 times B age. Okay? May kinalaman yan kung ano ba yung degree ng spandrel natin, no? yung X to the N kanina. And then, XG is equal to 1 over N plus 2 times B. Okay, yan ang mga formula na kakailanganin natin when dealing with the spandrel. Now, nag-prepare ako ng isang sample problem dito. And then, ito yung pag-aralan natin ng maigi. Okay? Para mas maging klaro ang ibig sabihin sa inyo ng moment diagram by parts. Para later on, gamitin naman natin ang ating moment diagrams sa ibang situation. For the beam loaded as shown, compute the moment of area of the moment diagrams between the reactions about both left and the right reaction. If this is our given beam, given the following dimensions, from point A hanggang sa simula ng ating uniformly distributed, one foot ang layo. And then, yung entire span ng ating uniformly distributed load na may weight na 400 pounds per feet is 3 feet. At ang layo naman ng hanggana ng ating uniformly distributed sa point P is 1 foot. And then, syempre, ito yung ating mga reactions from point A and point B, yung mga arrows. Now, paano ba ang calculation ng ating uh, moment diagram by parts? And then, paano ba yung mga drawings? Before we do that, by symmetry, solve muna natin ang ating mga reactions. R1 is equal to R2, then 1 na po 400 pounds per feet times 3 feet. Kasi 3 feet lang yung span na mayroong 400 pounds per feet. Now, yung reaction natin, both side, dahil symmetrical naman yan, hindi mahirap hanapin. R1 is equal to R2 is equal to 600 pounds. This is marunong na kayong maganap ng reactions. So, madali na lang yan sa inyo. And then, huwag natin kakalimutan na ang area AB around point A, X sub A bar, is also equal to the area AB around X sub B bar. So, i-multiply yan. Okay? Uh, ano ba yung area AB natin around X sub B bar? Actually, uh, makikita natin yan na equal talaga yung dalawang yan. Okay? Hindi siya multiply. No? Makikita natin na equal talaga both left and the right hand side of the equation. So, let us see now kung bakit. Yan. Kung babalikan ko yung figure kanina, okay. Okay, tinan nyo, no? Bakit ako nag-drawing ng ganyan? Di ba ito yung gitna? Ito, ito yung center natin. Okay. So, inassume ko, okay, para sa ating uh, 1,500 pounds per feet and then 450 pounds per feet, second degree, second degree yung mga yan, Paano ko nagkaroon ng mga data na 1,500 and negative 450? Una sa lahat, okay, di ba ang ating mga reaction is 600? 600? The entire beam is having a distance of 5 feet. So, yung kalahati niyan is actually 2.5. If I'm going to calculate that, okay, pag ganyan ang drawing ko, no? then dito pag ganyan din. Kasi symmetrical eh. Yung kalahati, eto. Yung kalahati, eto naman. Yung nakashade. Okay. So, 600, i-multiply ko ng 2.5, mahanap ko yung magnitude dito na 1,500 pounds per feet. Okay, Next. Sana naman ang galing yung negative 450. Bakit positive yun? Kasi nga, upward naman ng first natin. Eh. Okay, kaya sa taas, kaya positive. Ito naman negative. Yung uniform distributed natin, downward lahat ng mga directions ng mga weights natin. Okay. Mga arrows natin. 
400. Bakit 450? What do you think? Why is it 450? Doon sa taas. This is the calculation. Okay? 400 times 1.5 times 1 half of 1.5. Okay? Ganito yan. Okay, para klaro, no? Kung i-isolate ko yan, this is now the 400. This is 1. Dahil kalaati lang, ito yung section na. This is 1.5. Siyempre, ano to? Kung 1.5 yan, 1.5 over 2. 400 times 1.5 times the lever arm of 1.5 over 2. That's why we have negative 450. Negative ang sign dahil downward naman ang mga arrows natin. Ano man ang nasa kalaate, yan, eto to. Ganon din sa kabilang part. Okay? Now, let's do the calculation. So, let's proceed. Drawing pa lang yan. Na-drawing na natin ang ating moment diagram by parts. Now, let us solve for the area X sub A. Ayan, ito muna. Area X sub A. One up of five times 1,500 times five over two. Yung buong yan, o, buong ito. Okay, so let me discuss it to you para klaro. Yung buong yan na class, ang buong yan, okay, ang area is 1 half of 5 times 1,500. Parang 1 half base times height lang yan eh, base height. Okay, base and the height. Yung area niyan. And then, imumultiply natin lang 5 over 2. Kalaati kasi ng 5 is 2.5. That's why we have 5 over 2. So, tapos na yung sa taas. Okay? And then minus. Bakit minus? Eh, negative yung nasa baba eh. Okay, one-third of 3. Bakit one-third? Ang yan natin is second degree, di ba? Okay? So, magad ka lang ng 1. So, one-third of 3 times 450. Okay, class? And then, 5 over 2 again. So, ang sagot natin, 8,250 pounds per cubic feet. Then, let's proceed to the other one. Area of X sub B naman. Kapag yan ay ating kinalculate, dahil symmetrical, pareho lang sila. Value is equal hindi yan mababago. So, same lang. Kapag naalap mo ang X sub B, naalap mo na rin ang X sub B. Example number one pa lang yan. So, mas madali yan. Now, I have again constructed new examples para sa moment diagram by parts. Ito yan. Papakita ko yung pasikot-sikot niyan. No? For the beam loaded shown, compute the moment of area of the M diagrams between reactions about the left and right reaction. Yan. Kung papasin natin, may couple. 400 newton meter dito sa portion na yan. So, first step, kailangan isolve muna natin ang ating mga reactions. So, summation moment at B, dito tayo magmumoment sa point B, alamin natin ang ating R sa B. Lockwise moment positive ang consideration natin. R1, okay, Minus 400. Pari atang may kulang ah. Minus 1,000 times 2. May nawawala dito. Okay. What do you think is the missing number here? Yan nga natin. Parang may nawawalang numero ah. I think that is 6. Yan. 6R1. Dahil ang layo ng... Ito yung R1 natin no. Ito naman yung ating R sub 2. Or R sa B or R sa B, rather. Now, ito yung 400 natin. Double check nga natin. 
Negative 2,400 divided by 6 is 400. Okay, i-transpose natin, magiging positive yan. Negative 2,000 saka negative 400, magiging ganito yung equation natin. 6R1 equals 2,400. Okay, kinorek ko lang yung data, no? May typographical error. Nawawala yung 6 dito, eh. Okay, R1 is 400 po ton. Now, we have already calculated for R1, which is equal to 400. Okay? So, calculate natin ang ating R sub 2. Summation moment at A, magmumoment tayo kay point A, maanap natin ang R sub 2. So, dapat ang makuha nating value dyan is 600 kasi 1,000 newton lang ang ating concentrated load P. Huwag nating, huwag tayong magpalito doon sa couple. 1,000 times 2 minus 6R2 minus 400 is equal to 0. Tama ba siya? Ganyan yung mayigi. 2 lang ba ang layo ng ating result ng ating 1,000? Di ba, por? Ang layo ng 1,000 doon is 4. Eh? Yan, 4. So, this is what? 4,000 minus 400, 3,600. Transpose natin, magiging negative 6R2 equals negative 3,600. So, kinore ko lang ha, this is 4, not 2. So, ang R2 natin is equal to 600 Newton. May typo. Okay. That's it. So, we have R sub 2 is equal to 600 Newton. Naitindihan ba ito, class? Ang pag-aanap po ng reaction sa ating gim given beam loaded sa ating uh, problem. Yes, po. Wonder moment diagram by first. Now, na, hindi dyan na yung mga reactions na 400 and 600 ng ating mga reactions respectively. So, I prefer three methods. Okay? Ipaliwala ko yung mga method. Okay, ganito yan yung drawing natin. Una, pansinin niyo sa method A, ito yung couple natin. Dito yung pinuntiri ako muna yung point na yan. Actually, mamaya dito tayo sa point A, mamaya naman sa point B. Pero about kung dito tayo magsimula ang concentration natin sa point ng couple natin na 400 newton meter. Okay, ito yung person na yan. O, yan, 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 yan. So una, simulan natin kay 400 newton na reaction. Dahil ito yung point, yung reference natin. Kung mag-drawing ako ng triangle para kay 400 newton, ito siya. Ang una kong gagawin yung 400, kung gaano kalayo ang R1 sa point ng couple natin, yun ang alamin po ko muna. Gaano ba kalayo ang R1 sa point? Question. Gaano ba kalayo ang R1 sa point na 400? Sa point ng couple? 2 meters. 2 meters. So, 400 newton times 2 meters is 800 newton meter. And then, since nasa R1 ang ating concentration, 